Hey everybody, Chad again. We are on the way home after getting a big load of parts. Stopped at this super cool place to eat lunch. The place is so awesome. I wanted to do a video and show it to you. We are in Beaumont, Kansas at the historic Beaumont Hotel. Beaumont, Kansas, where's that at? It's kind of the middle of nowhere. We're east of Wichita, probably I'm guessing 40 miles. We're not quite to Wichita yet heading back home. But this place is so awesome, I wanted to show it to you. This little tiny town has this historic hotel. This was built back in the mid 1800s. It's been completely renovated. The reason this hotel was here was because back in the 1800s, the railroad ran right out here. Now, the really interesting thing about this, we're gonna get some more details on all these points. The really interesting thing about this place is as air travel and aviation became big, and obviously we're just east of Wichita, Kansas, which is the air capital of the world, this hotel has a really unique feature. Out to the east of here, there is a grass landing strip. You can literally fly into Beaumont, taxi right down this road, and park your airplane right there. They literally have a designated area for aircraft parking if you want to fly in here and eat lunch, eat breakfast, or stay the night. You can literally fly in, land on the grass strip, taxi to the hotel, park right here. When you get ready to leave, taxi back out to the grass strip and leave. Super cool place and really neat. We're gonna show you some of the interesting points around the outside of this facility. And then we're gonna do another video. We'll take you inside some totally cool memorabilia inside this really nice, very nicely restored, completely up to date hotel. So let's start over here. We like cars and trucks, right? Although we're talking about airplanes and trains, we like cars and trucks. We're gonna show you the maintenance vehicle that they use around here to keep these grounds up because it's cool even of itself. So we'll head over here to where they keep some of their equipment stored and we'll start there you can see it in the background that's what they use for maintenance around here it's about a 52 era dodge ton and a half truck nice old truck it's a little weathered but that's what it'll be like you know patina type trucks they literally this truck still runs and drives you can see they've got a lot of their extra supplies extra equipment things around here this is what they use for ground maintenance really cool vibe just to that alone so there's their maintenance truck. We'll head over this way. We'll check out the airplane they've got on display. We've got Frisco Water Tower. This is Frisco. I think it's the 1880s era. It is on the State Historic Registry. It has been here for 140 years, maybe 150 years. We've got a really cool airplane on display here. I believe this is a VJ Steve. Take the sign out over here and check out and see what this is. This is just a plane off. It's fenced off have engines in anymore but great yard art that's for sure 1949 twin beach z18 really cool display piece let's get a little better view of the water tower we'll come around the other side check out the water tower all wood structure it looks like here's a sign talking about our landing strips uh, 1948, a Wichita businessman wanted to fly into Beaumont to check on cattle. We are the, at the edge of the foothill or the Flint Hills in Kansas. Tons of pasture land out there. Guy wanted to fly and check on his cattle, so he made a way to do it. <laughs> in 1953, they added the landing strip so that uh, planes actually could travel in and out of here on a regular basis. So we'll come around here, we get a really cool look at this water tower. This thing is massive. We've got a sign here, 1885 Frisco Water Tower. So almost 140 years, this water tower has been standing here. This was for the trains. This was for the railroad is why this was built in the 1880s. Kind of crazy to think that structure has been there that long. Behind here, we've got a replica of the station. I don't believe this is the original station. We've got a little caboose here, which is really cool. They've got this all set up with the old railroad motif to go along with the hotel property. Just a really cool place. We'll head over this way. We'll check out the uh, bent prop parking. See what we got going on over here. Here they literally have it their designated area for aircraft parking. Now, how many times do you pull up for lunch at a hotel and restaurant and uh, 
check out their aircraft parking. So, and here's another sign. Let's check out this sign because we've got these ponds back here. Frisco Railroad Ponds. Those must have been dug, I'm assuming, to help get water up here to the tower and keep the water in these old steam engines, you know, way, 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 way back when. So, super cool place. I, if you are ever anywhere near this area, you've got to stop and check this out. Here we talks a little bit about Beaumont. In 1879, Beaumont was established as a railroad town. It was a very important shipping point for the Flint Hills and uh, a really cool place. The, uh, the, the water tower is 25,000 gallons, seven trains going through 35,000 gallons of water a day. That's a lot of traffic. You're talking in the late 1800s, seven trains going through here. So moving cattle in and out primarily. So a really neat place, super cool. If you were ever anywhere near the area, you've got to check this out. They've got great food. We're going to do another video. We don't want to drag this one on forever, but we're going to go inside the hotel. And we're going to show you the property, show how up to date and how modern this is. So I know this is a little off course for us. Typically, we're just cars and trucks, but, uh, you know, I love all things transportation. Trains are cool. Planes are cool. And obviously cars and trucks. So we got their maintenance truck. We showed you that, how cool that is. We got some airplanes. We got some trains. We're doing another video to show you the inside of this property because it really is modern. It really is nice and it's really exciting. So you guys can see it. And if you're ever anywhere near this area, you've got to check it out. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video. We'll see you soon.